Are you thinking about moving to the Willoughby community in Langley, BC, but you want to learn a little bit more about it before you make up your mind? Well, the good news for you is that you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Willoughby. I'm going to be covering everything from its location to its driving time to major cities and landmarks, the different neighborhoods, housing prices, rental prices, stores, schools, medical, and everything else. And it's all coming at you right after this. What's going on guys? Alex Dunbar here with the Dunbar Real Estate Group and Remax Treeland Realty based out of the Langley area. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about Willoughby. But before I get into it, I'll ask that you do one thing for me and that's to hit that like button so the algorithm will push this video out to more individuals just like yourself who wanna learn more about Willoughby. If this is your first time on my channel, I make weekly real estate videos based on relevant topics in the BC real estate market as well as community tours across the Lower Mainland. So if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing more of, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. I've been getting tons of calls, texts, and emails from people who want to move into the Willoughby area and I absolutely love it. So if that's a conversation you'd like to have, my contact information is below and I'd be happy to chat with you. But let's not waste any more time and we'll get right into it. Willoughby is located in the northwest part of the township of Langley and is centered around 208th and 80th. It's one of the best spots for location and accessibility in all of Langley. On the south side, you're bordered against Langley City. On the north side, you're bordered against Highway 1 and on the other side of the highway you have Fort Langley and Walnut Grove. On the west side it's bordered by 196th Street which is the Surrey Langley border and on the east it's bordered by Highway 10 which has Salmon River on the other side of it. Within Willoughby itself it's got a couple of neighborhoods I'd like to highlight. First we've got Yorkson at 208th and 80th and this is right in the center of Willoughby. Then we have Jericho centered around 200th and 80th and lastly we have Carbol centered around 200th and 86th. Over the past 10 years or so Yorkson has been the primary location for development. But as time goes on, construction starting to move north into Carvolth. The city has some big plans for Carvolth in the years to come. In regards to the time it takes to drive to specific cities and landmarks from Willoughby, you're looking at about 5-10 to 10 minutes to the Costco and Langley, 40 minutes to downtown Vancouver, 30 minutes to Burnaby, 35 minutes to Surrey City Centre, 15 minutes to the Langley Hospital, 35 minutes to the Skytrain Line, an hour to the Vancouver Airport, 30 minutes to the US border, and 50 minutes to the ferries. As previously mentioned, because of its proximity to Highway 1 and the Golden Ears Bridge, it makes Willoughby one of the most accessible areas in all of Langley. Not only do you have easy access to Burnaby and Vancouver in one direction, but you also have easy access to Abbotsford and Chilliwack in the opposite direction. Additionally, with the Golden Ears Bridge, it's easy to get north of the Fraser River to cities like Maple Ridge and Pitt Meadows. And this is one of the main reasons why it's become such a popular spot in Langley over the past number of years. In regards to housing, Willoughby is the newest and most densely populated part of Langley. It's seen a massive influx of new construction over the past 10 years and is showing no signs of slowing down. It has a good balance of detached homes, townhomes, and condos. In regards to detached homes, they're typically larger homes on smaller lots. And as for condos and townhomes, because of the fact there's been so many built in the last 10 years, there's a wide variety to choose from. Looking at the average prices in Willoughby, all three property types are slightly more expensive than the average across Langley. The current average price for detached homes is $1.862 million. For townhomes, it's $990,000. And for condos, it's $672,000. And one of the primary and most obvious reasons why home prices in the area are slightly higher than the rest of Langley is again because of the new development. Moving on to the rental market, Willoughby is a very rental friendly area. You're going to have a wide range of basement suites, condos, and townhomes to choose from. And they often come at a variety of prices. You'll even be able to find a few that come fully furnished. However, I should mention that rental rates in Willoughby are some of the highest in Langley. Looking at the average rental prices, a one bed condo is going to run you around $1,800 a month. A two bed condo between $22 and $2,300. A two bed basement suite is going to be a little bit on the cheaper end at $1,600. And a three bed townhome is going to be around $2,900 to $3,000. Moving on, I want to talk about some of the highlights of the area. First of all, it's definitely the parks and outdoor space. Willoughby is a vibrant and growing community that features lots of great parks. There's too many to list them all, but I will mention a couple of my favorites shortly. It's also got good sports fields and facilities everywhere you go. You'll be able to find soccer fields, baseball fields, tennis courts, arenas. I can go on and on, but I think you get the point. Willoughby is also extremely dog friendly, which is good news for all you dog owners. One spot you'll definitely want to check out if you have a dog is the Yorks and Offleash Dog Park. It even has an obstacle course for your furry friends. 
And if you head over to Dead Frog Brewing, it's dog friendly as well. Next, Willoughby is home to a ton of local businesses. The amazing new Willoughby Town Centre is the hub of this community. Here you're going to find both ample shopping and entertainment. The large scale strip mall here has everything you need from a large grocery store, cold beer and wine, a pharmacy, coffee shops and small restaurant. And if there's anything you can't find here, you're only minutes away from Langley City. Willoughby also has a good selection of schools. There's plenty of new schools and all with great ratings. Additionally, there's also a good amount of daycares and preschools in the area. One thing to note, however, if you are interested in daycares, you're definitely going to want to apply as early as possible. Because regardless of the location, everywhere across the lower mainland is tough to get into. And you're more than likely going to be put on a waiting list. In regards to schools, there's a total of six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. As you can see on the map here, we have Richard Bullpit Elementary, R.C. Garnet Elementary, Willoughby Elementary, Lynn Fripps Elementary, Donna Gabriel Robbins Elementary, and Langley Meadows Elementary. These schools range from grades K to 5. As for middle schools, we have Peter Ewart Middle School and Yorkson Creek Middle School. And the middle schools range from grades 6 to 8. And lastly, the one and only high school is R.E. Mountain Secondary. And here you're going to find grades 9 to 12. This school is actually recently relocated to a new facility in 2019. So it's pretty much brand new. The next highlight, which I've already kind of touched upon, is the fact that Willoughby is convenient and accessible. It's walking distance to everything including schools, shops, restaurants and transportation. And anything else you need is only a five minute drive away. This makes it great for the urban family who wants quick access to all shopping and necessities while still being close to Highway 1. It's also great for commuters due to the Carvel bus exchange. This is a major and biggest transportation hub in all of Langley. And additionally, you're also going to be able to find a park and ride here. And as for those who have to take Highway 1 on a regular basis, a nice little bonus is that you're going to be able to find Tim Hortons, McDonald's and Starbucks on your way. So you're going to be able to grab a coffee every single day. Oh God, I didn't mean to rhyme like that. As I previously mentioned, I want to touch on my two favorite parks in Willoughby, and that is Willoughby Community Park and Yorkson Community Park. Willoughby Community Park is located beside the Langley Event Center, and you're going to be able to find soccer fields, baseball diamonds, basketball courts, volleyball courts, tennis courts, water park, and more. As for the Yorkson Community Park, here you're going to be able to find four softball diamonds, an artificial turf soccer field, two grass soccer fields, a mountain bike park, and an off-leash dog park. So whether you just want to take your dog for a walk, go for a bike ride, a picnic, or go watch your kids play sports, there's really something for everyone. Moving on, let's take a look at some of the amenities, stores, and restaurants. So your go-to spot for shopping is definitely going to be Costco, but good luck finding parking on the weekend. You're also going to be able to find all your big box stores located at the bottom of the hill on 200th, and this includes Walmart, Best Buy, Home Depot, and Willowbrook Mall. And while we're on that topic, Willoughby also borders Langley City, and this means that it has quick access to all the independent businesses, shops, and restaurants that Langley City has to offer. Some of the highlights here are definitely the Langley Event Center, as well as the new Willoughby Shopping Center. The Langley Event Center is a 322,000 square foot multi-purpose facility. It holds nearly 5,300 people and is home to the Vancouver Giants WHL team, Langley Thunder Lacrosse, and the Trinity Western University Spartans basketball. So there's always something going on here and it's a great affordable place to take your friends or family. As far as the Willoughby Shopping Center, this strip mall offers more than 43 brand name stores. It has all types from food to outlets to department to fashion to traditional and so much more. I'll leave a link to everything it has to offer down below in the description. As far as grocery stores, as already mentioned, Costco's going to be your go-to, but you've also got places like Marino's Market in Delhi, Hakam's Your Independent Grocer, Willoughby Market, and Jericho Liquor Store. As for good eats, you're going to be able to find restaurants, pubs, and breweries all minutes away. A couple of my favorites are the Mad Italian Pizza Co., some of the best pizza in all of Langley. You can create your own pizza and choose from unlimited topping. SNL Kitchen and Bar, they've got great food and cocktails. This is a bit of a higher-end restaurant, but definitely definitely a great spot for date night. You've got Jericho Liquor Store, and they've always got a great selection of individual craft beers. As a craft beer lover myself, this is my personal favorite go-to spot, and they're always updating their selection. You've then got the Town Center Liquor Store, and if you're not a beer person but you're a wine person, this is where you're going to find the best wine selection. Next we've got Dead Frog Brewery, with tons of space to sit both indoors and outdoors, a massive selection of different in-house craft beer, as well as some fantastic eats. It's somewhere that you're definitely going to want to try out. Additionally, they often have live music. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can try out their 16 beer flight. And lastly, Willoughby's going to have all their typical fast food options. From Dairy Queen to McDonald's to A&W to Tim Hortons to Starbucks to Wendy's and more. As for entertainment, there's plenty to choose from. You've got the Cineplex just on the other side of Highway 1. The Langley Event Center, as I already mentioned, which always has something going on. Or you can visit one of the many parks. As far as your fitness goes, there's a good amount of facilities to choose from. The highlight here is 
definitely gonna be Gold's Gym. But if you're looking for something a little more niche, you also have your Oxygen Yoga and F45 training. Or if you're looking for something that's a little more laid back, you've always got your Willoughby Community Center. Moving on to your medical needs, the Langley Memorial Hospital is gonna be the closest one to you. Additionally, there's lots of walk-in clinics in the area. So as long as you're not having to head to the hospital in rush hour traffic, you're gonna be fine. As far as the walkability in Willoughby goes, it's got a walk score of 19. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think this is a great representation of how walkable it actually is because Willoughby really is quite a walkable community. So I kind of feel like this is an unfair rating, but I digress. So is a car mandatory? Not necessarily. However, it is gonna make your life a lot easier. But again, because of the proximity to the Carvolth bus exchange, you have easy access to transit anywhere you go. As far as bikeability, Willoughby has a bike score 57. And this means that it's considered quite bikeable. So you've got bike lanes throughout the entire community and most things are within reasonable biking distance. As far as transit goes, Willoughby's probably the best in all of Langley. There's tons of bus routes and accessibility throughout the community. As far as taxis and rideshare, it also ranks highly. There's tons of availability across the community and you're never gonna have to wait long for a driver. In regards to a SkyTrain, there isn't one in Langley yet. However, there is one proposed to come into Langley City by the year 2028. And more than likely, it's gonna take longer than that. But because Willoughby is a neighboring community of Langley City, and with its highly ranked transit system already, this is gonna make it a great option in the future. But for the time being, there's still no SkyTrain in Langley. So overall, who does the Willoughby community appeal to? First, it's gonna be your young people and couples. And this is based on the availability and affordability of starter homes. With tons of options for condos and townhomes to choose from, this is a good way for first-time buyers to get their foot into the market. Willoughby is also a great spot for commuters. So because of its great accessibility, transit system and proximity to Highway 1, it's great for those who have to commute to work every day. So if you are a commuter, Willoughby is definitely going to be your go-to choice for all of Langley. And lastly, it's great for families. And this is apparent as there's already an abundance of young and growing families. Having tons of great schools, daycares, parks, and being sports friendly, your kids are going to love it. And now before I finish off this video, I do want to mention a couple of things that you're probably not going to like. So the main downside to Willoughby is it has a couple of streets that are notorious for their traffic during rush hour. And these are 200th and 208. So if you're traveling during peak traffic hours, I wish you luck. But if you have more of a flexible schedule and you can avoid these times, you're gonna be okay. However, the good news is the city started to widen the roads. So while for the time being, there is ongoing traffic, which can kind of make the traffic worse, it's only gonna be to your benefit in the future. And in reality, most cities and communities across the lower mainland are gonna struggle with some sort of traffic issues. So if you can get over that, you're gonna be fine. But it's just something you wanna keep in mind. And that's about gonna do it for today. So if you did get any sort of value from this video, I'll ask that you smash that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're interested in seeing more videos just like this one, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I put out a new video. And lastly, if you are considering moving to Willoughby or anywhere else in Langley or any of the surrounding cities for that matter, you can scroll down and hit the first link in the description to book a call with me to discuss your options at your earliest convenience. I'm also going to have some additional information and links to different websites that could be helpful to you, so check out the description to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.